Stay hydrated and eat your fucking fruits and vegetables, little kids. Say your prayers, eat your vitamins, and... Prayers, eat your vitamins, be true to yourself, true to your country, be a real American. Man, they just... <laughs> the whole hobo shit. Well, yeah, it should have been. No <laughs> hobo shit. Real good. Welcome back to Block Integrity. It's your host, Gizmo. And I'm your boy, LJ. We thank y'all for showing back up. I know it's been a while, but we miss y'all just like y'all miss us. I miss the bitches. Miss <laughs> 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 y'all. Oh, shit. Um, yeah, let's start this motherfucker off by um, no, last episode was about Father's Day, right? What a coincidence. This is a video going around about this father brought his only son, only child, I don't know if it was son or not, some McDonald's to eat. Because I'm finna expose you. What? Because that don't look that don't look enough for all my kids. That don't look enough for all my kids. What is that? That's just one burger? One burger, one fry? What he like? What do you mean? Okay, what about my other kids? What about your other kids? Young what okay, but them your kids' siblings though. Only one. He only has one child with this woman that has his responsibility. Three other children. And then the fact that he brought something for his only child was the problem. Like, she threw the food at him and all that shit, called him a bum. And I'm like, she was ready. She said she was, I'm exposing you. Like, you gonna expose yeah. you for doing what he's supposed to do. And then she said she was on food stamps and all that shit. So, they pretty much split. The damn hood in half, you know what I'm mean? saying? <laughs> the hood, that's that, that's a hood motherfucker soap opera right there. See, because people misunderstand what's going on. They want to go deeper than what it is. You keep it above the surface, you get what I'm, what I got to say about it. But niggas want to go deep into the shit. Well, um, fuck your kids, nigga. If it, ain't, if it ain't mine, if I fuck with a <laughs> chick, you know they got dudes out here like, man, a real man wouldn't bring uh, McDonald's for their kid. He'd bring groceries for the whole house. Fuck that. Fuck that. I ain't doing all that shit. If I had a kid with a chick that already had kids, and I'm the only baby daddy that come and feed their kids, you need to go fix your other baby daddy, you know what I'm saying? Kids up, you know what I'm saying? On some play dates. Shouldn't have no beef with me, bitch. Shouldn't have no problem with me. They call the rest up. I'm the only one you call because the kid's hungry. Shit, that ain't my kid. And then you standing there waiting for me to pull up so you can badge me about it. And you record. You mean you're trying to get shine. You fucking retarded. Well, actually, he did get views like a motherfucker. They probably got paid off that shit. It was on the internet or on YouTube and shit. But I ain't probably get paid for that shit. It's still it's supposed to blow that murder out. She did do a video. So fucked up, bro. But she said she was on food stamps. Now, she's on food stamps. And she said one kid can't eat. You know what I'm saying? If all of them can't eat. Nigga, she could lose her fucking kids. That's child danger. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, even he could have been like, all right, I'll feed this one kid. Took that one burger up. Cut it up. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? It would have been petty, but it would have been something. Cuz even said, <laughs> let me get my son that he can eat and he ain't got to see it. She said no. Mm -hmm. She said no. Still trying to control the whole situation. That's what I was saying. Like, they just complain so much. And then when a man decided to do something, they find a reason to complain about that. Like, come on now. You obviously ain't with the man because you can't fucking do right. And you wouldn't have some old kids. And this man's trying to do his public duty to raise a positive black man and you in the fucking way. That's where I'm going with that. I'm trying to say, I just came to feed my little nigga. That's it. If, if we was together, then maybe, yeah, I had a, a obligation to feed all your goddamn kids. But, no, nah, I got one kid and I had to drive over here to come see him. Nah, nigga, fuck all that, nigga. Right. Fuck all that. Uh, that's I'm even my one kid. You gonna take this video in court. <laughs> I'm gonna take my one kid home. Them little niggas you got, <laughs> them little baby kids you raised, them. you can have them. I don't like kids anyway. Let's not relate it to them. You got people that saying, man, he wrong. He know about her situation and her kids and this and that, this and that. Why is that his concern and his problem? Y'all don't know what that woman, if she that petty to put him on the internet for buying his only child some food, what you think else is going on behind her? What you think is going on behind closed doors? It is grown men that can't afford to eat that meal that they, she threw on the ground. You know how much money that shit was? A burger and fry and a drink? At least 15. Psh, four kids. For one child. That one child. Shit. Man, come on now. Get the fuck out of here. What the fuck you think that man was going through? He gonna wake up in the morning. Uh, I'm about to go see my little man today. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. I'm gonna go buy everybody some shit. Fuck that. <laughs> fuck that. Fuck that. Fuck your kids, ma'am. And... and and sir, because another thing is, 
Nobody really likes your kids. I'm pretty sure y'all heard this shit before. If that ain't family, we don't give a fuck about your damn kids. I'm like, look at, my, look at little Ray Ray. Look what he did. We don't care. Yeah. Like, nigga, we want to see him fuck up. That's the only entertainment is to see your kids fuck up. That's yeah. fucked up, but it's fucked. That's why we go to skate rings and ice rings and wait, wait, wait till winter. We want to see a kid bust they motherfucking ass. <laughs> That's it. It's just fucked up because not only now, every time this man want to go buy something for his child, he got to think about the way he was treated when he do that. Like, even if he go buy him some shoes, clothes, or whatever, it's for his son. It's for his responsibility. Mm -hmm. He doing what he's... I'm not saying that I don't know nothing about neither one of these people, but as far as what I saw, the man was actually doing what the fuck every fucking female on earth want to do. Come, mm -hmm. get your child. Spend some time with him. You yeah. fuck that all the way up doing that petty ass shit you doing. So you ain't even gotta know the people, you gotta know the situation. Yeah. yeah. Somebody said it on, on on the internet earlier. Said <clears throat> if I buy my son some Gucci shoes, that mean I gotta buy all them kids some Gucci shoes. Like nope. it ain't everybody from no, nah, fuck that. No, nope. you can't do that shit, bro. No. Nope. It's a responsibility if a woman chooses to have multiple partners and get pregnant by them. They should be able to, you know what I'm saying, hold up that responsibility with every goddamn dad. Because all niggas ain't the same. There's some people that fold for kids, some people that are like, all right, I feel for her. There's some niggas that's real, you know what I'm saying, I'll take all the kids, and there's some other niggas that say, fuck you, give me the paperwork. And I say it's like all four niggas. <laughs> if you get but, food stamps, I'm pretty sure you get child <coughs> And let's go deeper into it. That's what motherfuckers keep going deeper. Man, if I would, I would have fed the kids, Fuck that. and she would have been the one starving. I made sure all the kids was good, this and that, this and that. Now you doing what she doing. You being spiteful, being petty. That man just came over there to get his kids food and had to get ridiculed and fucking cussed out, put on the internet and all this shit because of petty shit. And then you got the whole fucking world arguing over it. It's funny because people that ain't got kids like us, we like, fuck that shit. Pull out game one million. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga. Fuck I you can, and your stress, bitch. I can start any line more. One pool. And you wonder why men ain't around the majority of these females because they don't know how to shut the fuck up and let shit happen. <laughs> shut the fuck up. Let them feed that kid. That kid would have been excited. And if you raise that kid the proper way, he's going to say, hey, brother, hey, sister, y'all want some of this? And how to know, first of all, how old was the kids? That's another thing I don't know. Now, if he would have came in there with just some McDonald's, the mom, I'm sorry, y'all single mothers, y'all pussy when it comes to certain shit. <laughs> y'all will not talk to y'all baby daddies about what's really going on until it's too late. So, <clears throat> who would get to the baby daddy first? The fucking kids. Now, the damn kids called their actual dad and be like, hey, such and such dad brought him over McDonald's and all that shit. The nigga be over there with some goddamn Chick-fil-A. Yes. Because niggas is petty. I believe it. Because mm -hmm. I am. Petty as motherfucker. <laughs> like, oh, this nigga got McDonald's and nuggets up on the way. We'll make sure you straight. Nigga, nigga, we want some B-dubs. We're going to take you out. We're going to vlog this shit. But yeah, that's all that I even, because that, that was, like I said, that was a big ass meal. Ain't no little kid going to eat that big ass meal. You know what I'm saying? So he probably was damn near, i say 10, 12, almost teenager. Old enough to communicate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To know he about to get some McDonald's. <laughs> yeah, ain't going to get it. But, but. I just don't get it, man. You got me fucked up. If I call, <laughs> y'all doing too much. Bro. Yeah, my I'm kid, anything, anything, man. I, I'd have been with females that had kids, and they be like, "Don't let your mother not do this. Don't let you do it." They put so many rules on petty shit. Mm -hmm. Motherfuckers don't know how to deal with your old bitter ass. That's why niggas leave you. That's why you're so low in the house arguing mm -hmm. with yourself. Cause you don't know how to do shit the way it need to be done. It ain't even rules about the shit. It's just being logical about the shit. You just want to protect negative fucking energy. There's one chick that I've ever, one single mother that I've ever seen in my life, like, new, of this age, you know what I'm saying? Not the old school, not like our moms and aunts and all that shit. I'm talking about this new school shit. This chick says she don't like another, a lot of dudes over her house because she has a little daughter. She don't want to see, she don't want her daughter to see a bunch of men coming in and out, even if they might just be friends. She don't like a bunch of men coming in and out of her house because she don't want to portray that image that, you know, say her mom is one of them. Yeah. Even though she a hot pocket. 
she don't want to be out there. Like what she gotta do, she gotta do. She can cheat all the parking lots, making movies, all type of shit. But other than that, yeah, she's hiding what she's doing from in front of her kids. So, you know what I'm saying? And what you do to your kids growing up, that's how they grow up, you know what I'm saying? You don't want to add to the problem. So that's the smartest shit I ever heard a fucking single mother do. But you know what I'm saying? Y'all fucking crotch jumping, trying to go from nigga to nigga, having multiple babies and all that shit, and you can't handle it. Like that Hennessy is a motherfucker, ain't it? <laughs> that's pretty much what it is. Hennessy calls pregnancy. Nigga, that's what they need to call that shit. Pregnancy Hennessy. Just call it. Just they say anything can happen. Hennessy, get whatever fucking slogan they be saying. I don't know. Any, that shit. Anything can happen. Hennessy is. First of all, y'all niggas that drink Hennessy, why? Honestly, why? Cognac is like water to me, bro. Cognac and rum. Sorry, this is off the subject. I stopped drinking that shit. Bro, I could drink. That shit make you smell drunk. Yeah, it You know what I'm saying? You, the, the, what's it, a Crown Royal? That shit just make you smell drunk. Mm-hmm. Hennessy, just. NJ. Hennessy, just. Oh, that shit make you damn stomach just hurt. New cow. Oh my god. Seen some of that shit at the liquor store. I'm gonna shout it up. I'm like, man, get this <laughs> moo cow the fuck out of here. If you ain't never seen moo cow, it ain't even spelled moo cow, but you would know how to spell it. It got a panther on the bottle. It's some cognac. Fuck that shit. That's how you sound when you throwing up. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah, exactly, <laughs> nigga. It's some bulls that you call it Papa Shango. Just throwing world. up green shit. But anyway, back to it. Y'all get motherfuckers drunk off this Hennessy at the Elks. Or at the front line, if you're from the city, you know what the fuck I'm talking about. Go home and get blown the fuck out by a nigga that don't even live with you. you just met him in the hall where he doing laundry and shit. Uh-huh. And now you pregnant. You got all these standards and shit. And they, will they, will they, uh, illegal, uh, it, it's, it's illegal to have abortion now, right? Yeah, that's what they should go get. <sighs> Is this not a fucking commercial for that shit? Sometimes abortions are f- sad. It ain't the kid's fault. It's the parent's decision, but it's necessary. Or you give them up for adoption. And this is be honest. The only people that give it up for adoption is like, let's say white folks, because they can be, you know what I'm saying, emotionally detached easily. Black folks, they get too attached to their kids once you have them. So it's hard to give them up for adoption unless the city just come get them. But that's the only two ways. Even rape babies, they don't want to give up. But I was, that's, that's the only thing I, I said on the last show. They should make that along with the baby. If you get raped and you can prove that you get raped, they should get an abortion. But that's that's that, a whole different conversation. They should not at the hospital. That should be one right there. The little pill. But that goes on the last show I said that. That the lady is paying child support for the baby she kept when she got raped. And she gotta pay the rapist child support. I don't know if y'all seen the whole damn thing, but apparently she didn't say if she got raped. Until the motherfucker got the kid full custody of it. Like, it's too late now, bitch. <laughs> Pay the nigga. Well, Give him the whole Walmart check. But them young females be playing them games. Yeah. Say a motherfucker raped her when she the one raped him. And he told you about the bus and you didn't want to get off, bitch. <laughs> Fellas, this is a little side note from Gizmo. It's sponsored by Block Integrity. Take everything. And I'm not saying no nanny cam shit. I ain't trying to say no hidden videos. These females will let you take them. If they freaky enough. If you like, don't tell nobody blah, blah, blah. Tape that shit, bro. Yeah. That is evidence. Don't show nobody. Nobody want to see that shit in the damn way. Just show that it's consensual. That would get your ass out of a lot of shit. Save every text message. Save every nigga risk it. Nigga, if you got yeah. a girl, nigga, risk it. Get a locker on your app. Set nigga, I'm telling you. Set it up to where you know that it's, it's legit. Legit, nigga. Because these females nowadays, all they got to say is that one... Four letter word, nigga, you're over with. It's over bad. with. It's all bad. All bad. They giving out numbers. They gave R. Kelly 30 years, nigga. Off the subject again, but goddamn, 30 years? That nigga, and he would have did about five already, ain't eh? it? Sweet. <laughs> On 30 years. He it's gave over. us 30 years and they gave it to him back. That's it's fucked over. up. It's over for that nigga. He gonna be in there winning all the motherfuckers. Contest. Contest. He gonna be the nigga that stood us. Uh, drawing Mickey Mouse on an envelope, he'll be singing Happy Birthday to motherfuckers over the phone. That's a hustle. I'm managing R. Kelly, so please bring us in all money to cash app. I need that. Nigga, <laughs> <laughs> little birthday sings from, from the county. Hey, grab up! Wait a minute, Mouse! You got a collect car from the Happy Birthday. Yeah. I ain't even got to pay for this shit. <laughs> Telling you, nigga, that's when he's going to start making his money. R. Kelly jingles. <laughs> <laughs> That's what it's gonna be, nigga. Especially on Christmas. 
Everybody, Over with. Get, everybody get the call. Nigga, that's just another town. That's all it is. New venue. Keep your head up, R. Kelly. And, uh, that shit's fucked up. The nigga already got attacked and stabbed, but you know, that's the only way you don't try out somebody over with. Right. And shout out to them niggas that beat the shit out of the old boy that killed. I don't even know dude's name. Eric Solner or whatever. Fucking Holder. 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 Yeah. yeah. Man, they said that nigga needed staples and all that shit. Keep taxing that nigga. Yeah. That's just some side notes. I'm like, yeah. Salute to the Goonies out there that's handling business that were in other, other motherfuckers came. Yes, sir. So, uh, back to the subject. Fuck y'all kids, man. <laughs> <laughs> like, dead ass serious. Nobody really cares. Like, like you gotta, you know what I'm saying? Stop. They neutering cats. I just chopped that shit out. They catching straight cats, neutering them and letting them go. What is them stopping from doing that shit to y'all? Start neutering y'all motherfuckers. Because if we only really get into it, and it's been proven, you know these little corner stores, little bodegas, little stores, the places that ain't really ain't got no windows, they just got a door and a bunch of wood. It's milk there. You'll never see that milk in any big grocery store. You know why? Because dead ass. It's because there's hormones in it. You give it to the woman and the kids, and they develop, they be more fertile. And they live in the what? Projects. And they're good. They're reducing, and they keep, you know what I'm saying, uh, reproducing these little motherfuckers. And what they do? Be a government, government assistance, nigga. Mm-hmm. I'm, hey, I'm telling y'all some shit right now, nigga. I hope y'all writing this shit down. This might be the last episode. I love y'all no. motherfuckers, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Bury me a G. But, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's how it is, bro. Like, it's always little sections, nigga. It's, 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 it's right there in front of you. And it's been proven time and time again. It's all about the ball sack and the fertilization, bro. Mm-hmm. That's all it is. You know who you're dealing with, though. Mm-hmm. You know who you're dealing with. That's all that's what we really want to get into that shit, man. So, I check that shit. Yeah, check that shit out. If you ever had the corner store or something like that, look at that milk. You'll never see that shit at Walmart, uh, Kroger, or some shit like you might see it at Kroger. you never see it at a big star store. No, no Alpha Betas and none of that shit, neither. None of that. What was you saying? I like far as that situation, the video shit that took over the internet for about three, four days. Mm-hmm. I was trying to explain to the homie. I'm like, shit. What if they split up because the shit wasn't working right? It wasn't working right. And then Cuz got on his feet, started mm-hmm. doing what he had to do after they split up. But then she wanted to start acting funny because she know he doing better without her. And she just got yeah. that bullshit held against him, like, bitch, I'm, I'm, I moved on, I'm doing better, so yeah, I'm gonna come take care of my kid, and you just acted like a goddamn fool. Because another thing, a woman to use that kid as a weapon. Once you get that connection to that damn kid, right. then she also use that as a weapon. That's why I say from the jump, fuck your kids. That is not, just, that's the way of my life, my nigga. It's like I used to, before I was with the chick that I'm with now, I was trying to talk to this chick with two other uh, kids. Now, first time, I'm like, all right, let's I'm take her out for breakfast or whatever. Mm-hmm. She was like, um, I got to find a babysitter. I'm like, for breakfast? Bring little niggas with them. She had a little boy, had a little girl. <laughs> I gave him a grand slam, you know what I'm saying? Fuck Hook him up, hook him up one time. First date, she was like, nah, I'm cool. <laughs> now, I don't know if she was, what the fuck that meant, but you know what I'm saying? She didn't. I guess she didn't know if me and her was going to work out, but she, we didn't. Right, right. But our kids don't know that. They wasn't, they wasn't you know what I'm saying? You know, to uh, connect it to me, you know what I'm saying? So they know. So luckily, I ain't met one of them bitches that use the kids as a weapon. And them the foul, y'all some foul motherfuckers. And kids, and kids don't feel the emotions like y'all think. I understand certain only, shit. Yeah, only on holidays. Yeah, certain shit kids go through, they feel it. it but it, it ain't affecting them as bad as you think it is. Mm-hmm. Like I said, if, if my brother and sister came in the room and had some shit, nine times out of ten, it was gonna break me off a little piece of it. It was mm-hmm. gonna be cool. I wasn't gonna be sitting over here watching them eat it, but you mm-hmm. know, if they brothers and sisters, they gonna look out for each other regardless of the amount or what it is. I say, fuck my brother. I ain't sharing <laughs> shit. That nigga was sitting there, I eat a whole lasagna, looking at that nigga starve slowly. Like, man, you should have asked or something, nigga. You should go here moaning. I'm dead ass serious, man. I'm, I'm, I'm here with roommates. roommates. <laughs> I used to ask this nigga for shit. This nigga sit there and eat two boxes of cereal. Why didn't you give me a bowl? What the fuck? Fat bastard. First of all, a box is a bowl, nigga. Look it up. <laughs> a bo- if it fit in a bowl, it's a bowl, nigga. They make the ser- salad bowls about this big. This Quit bullshit. Eat the Craig bowl of cereal every goddamn morning. Hey, man. With two bowls of cereal. <laughs> two boxes, I mean. Not bowls. Two boxes. That shit used to be banging. Nigga. Man, that was lactose, too. But I was still knocking that shit down. 
That shit was banging back in the day, nigga. Anyway, I had to I had to start cutting off, you know, <laughs> turning off notifications because of that stupid ass video that we talking about right now. Because niggas are starting. Man, I will take care of my my kids. I take care of nieces and nephews. But Fuck nigga, that's that. not the point. We not Fuck talking that. about your your situation. We're talking about this situation. That's what I was trying to get people to understand. They steady bringing up their shit. I'm not talking about your shit. I'm yeah. talking about what's going on. If you still fucking the mama, then mm-hmm. yeah, you can do that. But if you have mm-hmm. nothing to do with that bitch and she continue to keep having kids, why do you feel any sympathy for her? Exactly. That's her decision. Yeah. Like I said, Hennessy is a hell of a drink. Every time she have a, have a kid, you're going to go motherfucking give her some money because she needs some diapers. No. And somebody said this shit too. If she put the nigga on child support, they only gonna have him take care of one child anyway. Exactly. So there you go. That's the way it go. So what the fuck is the problem, bitch? You're already on public assistance. You ain't gonna afford, afford no lawyer. He already he got gas money, so I know he he buried you right now. And so a, and apparently you ain't with the nigga, so the nigga you fucking with, why he ain't buying all the other kids? Exactly. You know somebody knocking that nasty shit out. Man, first of my shit. They even went as far as talking about her nails and shit was done. I don't give a fuck about that. Actually. Yeah, she did a video. She looked like <laughs> she did a video, but you know what I'm saying? Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah that's man. She she looked. She tried. She was trying. She's somebody's type. She gotta be at least four. Well, she having them kids. She's somebody's type. Easy. Hey, bologna is the worst meat in the world, but niggas eat it because it's convenient. Nigga, don't want to get your rocks off, nigga. Exactly. We, we don't want to throw out a steak. That's what the problem is. So y'all business, some of y'all business getting dicked down. It ain't because of what you, who you are. It's what you are. Convenient. You answer the phone quicker. And, and you move. One thing I can't apply her on is showing her real colors because this is like you kept me from having kids. I seen that shit happen years ago when I was young. Mm. I was seeing motherfuckers going crazy at it, you know, going at each other over Stupid shit like that. You know, I'm young. I'm looking like, damn, they really about to tear up the old fucking house over some petty shit like that. I don't want no kids. Because it's making motherfuckers go crazy. Making them go crazy. I didn't want no kids because fucking twins were in our family. And I ain't want to catch that goddamn bullet. I watched, uh, was it Big Money, Big Money No Whammies? You know, that them all them game shows back in the 80s. I'm like, that's what we playing right now, nigga. Everybody, my, nigga, my aunts are twins. This nigga is a twin. And now we're waiting on somebody else to have twins in our generation. They keep putting it on me. Keep saying I'm going to have twin daughters. Yeah, they woo! Man, in today's world, boy, I will be killing everybody. Nigga, yeah, what's the last time you seen Jay Z twins? <laughs> exactly. Hey, he do not put them on, on the camera, nigga. Yeah. I don't know why he keeping them over. There ain't nothing wrong with them. But I'm just saying, he probably just like, nah, yeah. man, you already seen Blue, we'll keep her out here. I will be motherfucking ready to kill everybody, every last one of you niggas. Yeah, you see Big Boy, yeah, uh, you nasty ass whore bag that's trisexual, will try anything sexual, you fucking fucked up ass critters. I said, them bitches got threesomes, two threesomes a year, that's the norm now. Y'all need to do that, well, do it, protect, I ain't all about to hit the table and fuck some shit up. Nigga, they just see that brawl on a boat, it was a cruise ship. It was 60 motherfuckers was brawling. 60 niggas <laughs> brawling. Nah, I ain't see that shit. Over some jealousy because of a threesome that happened. 60 niggas only. 60 niggas fought two floors. It said it started on the fifth floor. Fuck that. It went down to the elevator and they were still all wearing white on a boat. Going in. 60 niggas had over a be, threesome. Had to be an STD involved. Fuck it. <laughs> <laughs> niggas. Ladies and gentlemen, we are floating on a rock. Fuck it, have fun. This shit don't matter. Fuck that. <laughs> we are floating on a fucking circle, round, sphere, this thing. rock. Is not Earth, no. Earth is a sphere. It is flat. It's a sphere. That is stupid. But anyway, man. Fucking higher beings living inside of the Earth core. You know we got a ring, nigga? Speaking of that off Earth, subject thing. Ring. It, it, uh, Earth. Earth has a ring around like Saturn. Dead ass. Sure. You know what it is, nigga? Love? What? Garbage. 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 They like literally satellite pieces, shit from the space that we had threw up there and it stuck up there. We have a ring of garbage around the Earth. We never been to space, by the way. We ain't never <laughs> landed nowhere in space. We've been up there. We ain't never been to go down the moon. We're going to get into that damn shit later on another episode. If y'all weren't here, we gotta get more information so we can get y'all internet heads. Oh, I'm gonna tell you right. I'm gonna tell you right, goddamn now. It's a po- nigga. They had the, the moon landing was not real. I don't believe that shit. A nigga stepped over the little 
thing thing, little uh, X's that be on the picture. Mm-hmm. And they just step over the shit. Man, nah, nigga. And who was up there to set the cameras up? Exactly. Supposed to be the first man on there. First man on the moon. But, but the camera's camera's, yeah, already up there. Cameras already up there. Well, I think they is Krovers. <laughs> <laughs> cameras every goddamn where. See, Walmart the same way. Man, they let you know. Ding! They look up, huh? Oh. <laughs> Got your ass. That's a whole profile. <laughs> 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 they got the ditchers and all that shit. Oh, because these motherfuckers stealing motherfucking lip gloss and lotions. Out there selling the two for five for the whole kit. Man, in the same parking lot. In the same parking lot. <laughs> like, don't return it. I can't go back in there, dog. Man, they got my picture. I had to change shirts. <laughs> the motherfuckers, man. <laughs> And he got that. What are you talking about? Some bullshit. Stupid bitches. Uh, <laughs> um, but stop using y'all motherfucking uh, females as a weapon. I mean, start using, stop using y'all uh, kids as a weapon. Let niggas take care of their kids how they want to take care of their kids. Because a lot of niggas that ain't take care of their kids. Like, <clears throat> honestly, I always said this shit. My pops wasn't there, but he was there. You know what I'm saying? Like, I could have called him if I needed some advice. I could have called him if I had a little Fifi or something like that. I needed to ride somewhere. And I needed to borrow some. I could have, you know what I'm saying? I could have did that. My pops was one of them dads. You know what I'm saying? You ain't got to be there all the time, but you be there on time when you need it. You know what I'm saying? He ain't brought me plenty of McDonald's cheeseburgers. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Every time I eat a McDonald's cheeseburger, I got a picture of Cadillac. Because that nigga pull up in Cadillacs all the damn time. So, uh, it's different kind of dads out there. Those niggas that be there all the time. Niggas that be there with it, so you know what I'm saying? It's time to be there. So uh, they just don't like the female. That's pretty much what it is. Yeah, no kids <laughs> necessarily hate their parents unless their no. parents do something to them to make them hate. I never, like I said, my mom never bashed my dad. I don't like my dad because of what he did to me, you know what I'm saying? The experience I had with him. So my mama ain't never said no stupid shit about him, but for her personal opinion, she be like, he did me wrong, bitch ass nigga, some shit like that. But even mm-hmm. she never said it. Nothing to me personally to make me hate my dad. So what y'all doing in front of these kids is building, it is planting shit in their head because you mad. Well, let me say this. Um, females, stop telling your son that they dad ain't shit, is a piece of shit, he's a worthless ass nigga. What I'm blah, 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 blah. Yeah. Later on down the line, when he get all dressed up, you say, mm, look, just like your daddy. You're fucking the kid's head up, nigga. He remembers all that shit. So stop fucking with these damn kids' head, man. That's why. That's why he ain't grow dreads and be on the corner with the two for fives for life. <laughs> he got drug deals, deals. He got drug coupons. He doing out here bad just because you fucked up his head about he ain't gonna be shit in life. Dumb shit on top of dumb shit, man. I hate it. I hate. I hate it seeing my boys go through the shit they went through. You know, with their baby moms. I understand it's a male female thing, you know what I'm saying? They just two different two different people. And, and they gotta learn to figure it out. But to be today and age, nigga, to nowadays, everything mm-hmm. getting recorded and put on the internet. Everything. Showing how stupid everything. and unstable you are doing this dumb ass shit. Like no one should ever cry on social media. Period. Unless you want to be known as the nigga that cried no. on social media. Nobody should never cry on social media ever. Because that shit is going you're gonna be ridiculed for it. I mean, you know, there's gonna be some people that feel sorry for you. Yeah, but yeah, you know, it's the dumbest shit ever. But you know, it's, it's you look, you're reaching. Mm-hmm. But yeah, it's, 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 she was looking for sympathy. She she did it for her three fucking friends. That she probably sent that to, and they probably sent that, put that on the internet. Like, yeah, I, girl, you exposed that nigga. Yeah, I yeah, yeah, yeah. Guarantee she didn't post that shit on the internet. I guarantee she sent that to one of her motherfucking hood rat friends. They got the damn big toe ponytail. <laughs> That's when he sticks up like that, and he's just an attachment ponytail, and she probably posted that on damn Facebook or something like that. And the nigga didn't ask him to go viral. So I'm hearing that's that's another thing. thing but um, just to show some parents, adults that go through shit, I don't know what the situation is, but uh, Big Boy from Outcast. You hear about him? Nope. Okay. Well, you know his uh, son, Bamboo, he graduated high school like years ago, right? Uh, so I'm pretty sure he in college or whatever. Yeah, yeah. So nowadays, I assume since the kids are grown, they finally split up. They, they, they went through a divorce. You ain't never heard this man having any problems with a female. Unless you probably lived in Atlanta. So they probably still do stay together for the kids. For the kids? It's possible to do that. You know, y'all can live y'all secret life. Some of y'all motherfuckers... 
bring other people in y'all relationships, like sexually. So y'all will live secret lives and lie to the kids till they get grown and make it seem like y'all in a happy home. If y'all want to take it to that extreme, but don't fuck up the kid's life, bro. Yeah. That that's that you're fucking up the kids not letting them eat McDonald's. You're fucking up the kids not letting them be with their pop, pops. No, when that, that video, like when that child, wherever old that child is, get older and they see that video, they gonna be like, damn, mom, you was fucking crazy. A bitch. You telling me my daddy brought me some food and you threw it in the street? Because of these little niggas that I don't even talk to no more. <laughs> on that coke shit is dumb man it's stupid shit y'all females are petty bro what? so uh <laughs> yeah and don't expect people to like y'all kids all their damn time if i come over your house and you got like kids yeah okay don't expect they jumping around on me you better get these little motherfuckers that's another psa if you you won't let your dog jump on me don't let your kids jump on me I will knock on these motherfuckers' ribs into the other ribs <laughs> oh. <laughs> nigga i don't care if they ain't developed yet they're about hey man I done had like, you know what I'm saying, the chicks I've been with, they told me not to take their kids around my old chicks' kids and shit. <clears throat> it's just like, I ain't the dad for none of these motherfuckers. Whatever I decide to do, you gonna have to accept that or get the fuck on. As you can see, I'm single, so I had to book the bitches out because they just don't make sense, man. It don't make sense. You, you, I ain't I'll trying to go for this. It's fucking stupid. I'll tell you this Chinese river for you. <laughs> this is a Chinese mo, and it's real life though. Okay. My, my girl, right, on paper, she has a son. Her son is 36 years old. If me and my girl got actually, you know what I'm saying, paperwork married, I would be a grandfather, great-grandfather, man, 40 years old. Okay. But you would think, like, damn, how old is your girl? No. It's really her nephew that she took custody of when she was 15. You know what I'm saying? So on paper, he has a 36 year old son. And that's just like, damn, if me and her ever go to like legally get married, because let's just be honest, you love, we've been together 14 years, we married one day. Yeah, y'all married. We done. It's we in it. It's locked down. It ain't no more. We don't want nobody else. <laughs> Shit. She can blink her eye and piss you off. That's how married they <laughs> That's how you know you've been involved with somebody. Where they ain't gotta say a word and make your blood pressure start pumping. That's how you know you know a motherfucker. You say a who too many times and during the movie, it's over with. <laughs> Fuck this movie! I need to smoke. <laughs> that's what it is. Really, but that's a, that's just a Chinese. They talking about females and kids and all that shit. My girl took care of her nephew as a child and you know what I'm saying raised all three of them. You know what I'm saying? So it's possible to raise some kids. You know what I'm saying? Take them under your wing and don't cause no ruckus. And all that bullshit. And actually fought the baby daddies. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So, it's some females out there. They don't build them like they... Yeah, they don't build them like they used to no more, yeah, respect bro. Respect to every woman that had her business. And not none of them motherfuckers with black gums and black lips. And drink and drink uh, 40 ounces and motherfucking drink beef jerky and smoke black and mild. And fuck y'all. <laughs> y'all know this motherfuckers is nasty. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers get punched all the time. Like y'all need to just stay in the projects. Mm-hmm. Y'all just don't know how to be human. <laughs> we ain't just here bashing that woman, but we bashing the situation. Unless you look like you smoked a firecracker. That's what I'm trying yeah. to say. That shit is gross. Y'all need to do better. Like first of all, fix yourself when you fix your yeah, all that bullshit. But that's mm-hmm. here and over there. But no, we ain't bashing all females. We just need to do better. And that damn video was bullshit. Hey. Bull fucking oh, shit. You gonna be bashing that nigga over something that petty? I can only imagine what you did to that man when y'all was together. Like, must, have been, must have been something, and it was coming back with McDonald's and shit. That's like if a motherfucker bought her a PlayStation and they get an extra controller, she go throw her PlayStation in the street because it only one controller. You have his own birthdays, though. <laughs> he's supposed to get a present. All right, you wanna, if it's a birthday, if it's a birth, one of their birthdays, right? Is he supposed to get one of them a present? That's another, another question. We're going to add on to that one, but we ain't going to keep going. It's, it's little Ray Ray's <laughs> birthday. I know I know, little Junebug yours, but you go buy little Ray Ray a present? Nope. You go to his party because it's his, your son's brother? Exactly. That don't make no sense. There's a lot of factors here. It's a lot, of, it's a lot of layers in this bitch. Yeah. yeah. Y'all them little kids? Yeah. If it, man, I say if a man is involved in his child's life, allow that to happen. Allow it to happen. Unless no. it's something bad. Don't be motherfucking, don't let your new girlfriend be around my son and this and that. Let that nigga live his life and be with his child. Damn. 
Mm -hmm. I'll be hearing this shit. I don't, I don't, I don't go through it because I ain't got no kids, but I've heard this shit. I've been out in front of my house hearing bitches scream across the fucking parking lot. Like, don't let that new bitch man. Don't leave my kid with the new bitch. Like, what the fuck am I supposed to do, bitch? Sorry. <laughs> and when I got that my kid around you, your new bitch. So, uh, I can't find a babysitter, so. You over here doing twerk videos with my son in another room and shit. Exactly. I don't tell you to stop doing that shit. That's <laughs> Y'all just need to do better, bro. Like, shit, dumb. it's petty shit, man. Like, I ain't never heard no dude being any petty shit with no damn with a kid or nothing like that. But, like, stop Excuse being me. so petty when it comes to these kids. That's yep. all I can say about that. Just let the pettiness shit go and be a parent. Yeah, so I'm like, it ain't like we bashing just females. I'm pretty sure there's some dudes that'll be out there putting their kids in danger. You know what I'm saying? Have them in the back seat and something like that and go pull drills or whatever the fuck. Or you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> shouldn't be having a, be having a kid when they shouldn't have had a kid. You know what I'm saying? So if you try to keep the kid away from the dad because of that, okay. You got, but you gotta prove that shit though. You know what I'm saying? They get caught in the drive by and that's a damn bullet hole through the kid's seat, but the kid wasn't in there. Shit like that. Yeah. It's shit that shit happens. But other than that, let the little niggas be with the big little niggas. <laughs> Cause they gonna end up being rap scallions, you know what I'm saying? So yep. chill out. Stop being petty. Stop being motherfucking petty. Stop being petty. And uh, we seen this shit as a young, we young, we was young seeing this shit. That's why we chose not to have kids. Like, I literally chose not to have kids. And I used to have motherfuckers, you don't get pussy, that's why you ain't got no kids. I mean, want to spit off and saying stupid shit like that. Like, uh, nah, I listened to my health teacher tell me to wear condoms and shit and pull out. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> First of all, <laughs> my counselors in them school be on that shit. You know what I'm saying? I paid attention to that shit. I used to hate wearing condoms, man. That shit, I last too long. I don't have the stamina for my, my, my body, don't have the stamina for what my how do you do can pull off with a condom on. This bitch still owe me an orgasm. This is the bitch before I met my bitch. Sorry, bitch. But, <laughs> but she gonna buy the bitch. I'm on you guys. Before, before I met the bitch, I went now. That's why, that's why I call it yes. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, yeah. Yeah, I put her in hospital and shit. <laughs> she, I couldn't even finish. And I ain't even bragging, bro. This, this is not working. I, man, my look. lower back got a six pack. Man, I'm like, why'd you call me when you got home? Nigga, she's like, and I'm in the hospital because my back. <laughs> Granted, it was like four years before. I ain't had no bouncy bouncy in four years. She came through. But I put her in the hospital. I'm like, yeah. What about, what about older, <laughs> older niggas told me back in the day? Put on a condom halfway through so you can get something to fit. But I'm like, oh, what about the STD? Yeah. What about the STD? You, you, can, like, do, you can do the earwax test. That worked. It don't work on all STDs, playboy. It do. Uh, infection is an infection, hey, man. man. Hey, hey, hey. I, hey, I made it through. Uh, hey, huh? You go get an STD checkup. They hit you with that. Nah, they don't do technical. It can show up within six months of this test, so you might not have any signs you. of it now. But six months from now, well, yeah, they fuck mm-hmm. you up with that. You, you gotta, be like, wait, wait a minute. You gotta have it for the show. You know what I'm saying? I'm talking about like they on they they gonna detect AIDS on me. But nah, that's what I'm saying. This but hopefully you ain't raw dogging, you know what I'm saying? And you don't know the chick. But that's what I'm saying. The homie, the old school homie, was like, go in there raw dog until you halfway through it. And it is strap up. Nah. Nah, I know niggas that do the convertible. They put a hole in the condom and be like, oh, I pop. And it rolled all the way back. No, <laughs> you don't do that shit. You ain't never heard that shit? Just call no, it a convertible. No, hey. I ain't never. <laughs> nigga, no, a convertible. <laughs> They call it the convertible, bro. I like the third way in, nigga. Pop it out. Hey. <laughs> they say it'd be like, when you got, when you, when you, I can tell you when they fucking do it. My bad. If I bust a couple bubbles, no pun intended, when he, when he smashes from the back and he's like, lift your leg, lift up a little bit. When he pulls out, he rips that motherfucker. Then put it back in, that motherfucker rolls all the way to the back and get ready. He's like, oh shit, it must have popped. Gotta have some sharp ass nails and rip a condom because yeah. pull a hole in it. Yeah. Yeah, hey man, hey. Motherfuckers is durable. You know what I'm saying? Won't know nothing. But you know what I'm saying? There's niggas out here that that do some foul shit. So yeah, you wear a condom. Or then and then you be with somebody that, you know what I'm saying, you're gonna be with then you gotta wear one no more. Yeah, yeah. talking to you young niggas. We ain't talking mm-hmm. about niggas already. Right? Somebody talking talk to you young niggas. Yeah, make sure you gonna be with always strap up unless you're gonna be with a chick you're gonna be with. You know what I'm saying? Then you gotta learn to trust it. Heard a story again, it's gonna be another shit. <laughs> Okay, I don't know if this story is true because I heard it twice and by two different females in one week. 
But it could be true. This bitch said she got up, she was in the bed with her dude. She told her dude that she was going to the store to get something. This is kind of late night or whatever. She went to the store. STD. No, hey, this works. She went to the store. She got her back blown out by her ex. Let him bust her, a bust all in her. Let her cream pie. Let him cream pie all in her. And if you don't know what cream pie is, it's, yeah, it's, it's pretty much he did pull out. And he was raw dogging. But somehow she caught it in her shit. She can spit it out. It's muscles and shit. It's science. It's so anyway, the Kegel exercises. Yeah, yeah, she, 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 she spit it all out. But she gets back home. Her dude was up, still up. He wanted some bouncy, bouncy. So he started fucking around and start eating her and start complimenting how good she tastes. Oh yeah. And oh, turned God. out that he was eating that dude's. You will get murdered if that ever yeah. happened. She, he was eating the dude's. Yeah, spunk. Oh God, no. The whole time, oh, and God. she never told him off of it. You know how foul bitches is. That was on a different interview. I seen this shit on the internet. Bro. I'm like, oh, man, that's dirty. Like, she didn't even say she didn't even tell her ex. She didn't even tell her dude. I'm like, you know, a motherfucker probably seen that video. Like, bro, ain't that your girl? Man, that bitch is dirty, bro. The niggas would never Watch know because that cream pie it's supposed to be creamy down there. It's yeah, fun, but it's just like, oh, ah. Oh. Mm-hmm. And he's like, she just went to the store and came back. Well, nobody really think a bitch would get fucked in the store. Man. Unless you actually fuck the bitch in the stove. Shit I think a bitch can get fucked in the stove. <laughs> Shit happens, nigga. Yeah. And the way the way they the, the insecure females be on a nigga's ass, yeah, shit happens. Yeah, they not be insecure. It's an event. No, I'm just saying, like the insecure females make up all kinds of scenarios. That's what I'm. That's why I brought that up. They make up every type of scenario. I went to the barber shop to get my shit cut one time. I was supposed to be fucking the barber. Bitch, I don't know no female barbers. I did. I didn't know she was a female though. I thought she was a light skin. Fresh. I was getting fresh with the bitch because we was about to go out to eat. <laughs> See what I'm saying? You know, like, yeah. But it's my fault because you're insecure. Nah, nigga, that shit was from me. Yeah, that was built in y'all. Yeah. That's built in y'all, insecure ass motherfuckers. Y'all listen to enough Beyonce? Well, Beyonce didn't turn her back on y'all because she got married. She got digged down by a drug dealer. Man, she was all, oh, you can't pay my bills, but she was with her homegirls. Now she ain't got a drug yeah. dealer all up in her. Now she catering to a motherfucker. All the ratchet bitches that y'all idolize is married. Think about that. Mm-hmm. They telling y'all, fuck these marriages, teach you how to rob these niggas, this how you get over on a nigga, this how you do this on a nigga. But they go home to their man. Even Cardi B, she got what, two kids? Go home to her man. Cardi B got, yeah, she got two you kids. You can't be ratchet and keep your man. You cannot. I don't yeah, know. Know. Unless that nigga bum and he just dealing with your shit. No, we don't consider them men. Them, them motherfuckers are survivors. They just doing what they got to do. They doing what they got to do to get by. Yeah. Fucking with a man that's on top of this game. This is a lot of shit <laughs> that they ain't gonna put up with. They gotta do better, ladies. And like, yeah. Well, yeah. Watch All ratchet hoes got a nigga to go home to. Yeah. The ones y'all idolize anyway. Yeah, only one that ain't married is uh Megan. Lying ass Megan. <laughs> Megan the stallion. Uh, she got a dude though. I don't know if they married, but. We'll get into that shit later. I, let's throw it on out there. I did her the shit between. I had to unfollow her, pretty much on Instagram, because of the damn so Tory Lane. Shit. Yeah, that Tory Lane shit. You know, she supposed to got shot and all that shit. Mm-hmm. Nah, I ain't the person to say she got shot or whatever. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. I wasn't there, but I'm pretty sure it didn't go down the way she said it went down. And they say it was a laceration. Yeah, it looked like glass. Yeah, from glass. That's what it looked like. Mm-hmm. But. You know what I'm saying? Then they said the doctor report didn't have no gunshot wound uh, thing on there. They just said laceration. But I ain't hearing, well, I'm pretty sure they got motherfucking be out the window yelling out, dance bitch, shooting <laughs> at the bitch. Because <laughs> <Damn, man. laughs> she gets shot just in her heels. Says, bitch, you're bigger than me. I gotta shoot you. Exactly. They both of them probably drunk. It's late night. He's hanging out the window, shooting at her, and he just so happened to hit her heels. Bro, come on, man. That probably had probably, probably didn't happen like that. Oh, wow. So every time I looked at her, I was couldn't. I seen a regular hood chick out here just trying to get over and get attention. Make it thick, boy. She from Texas, man. Almond milk can get that shit. I'm fucking with Megan a little bit. I don't fucking, you know, her music and all that shit. I'm talking about this whole appearance. Yeah, I don't really, I don't really be following these hoes. But I just, every time I, I see her, I'm be like, God damn, she think of a motherfucker. She basic, bro. I'm gonna tell you like that. Whatever. I seen her, her old video when she oh, was skinny. Bitch, she got fake titties and all that, nigga. That's what I be looking at. Like, but she bitch. fake too. But she ain't even in the hood like that. She she been to college. She a college student. She's gonna happen to twerk. She hustling to get her money up. 
and tried to break down another nigga. Fuck out of here. Anyway. Anyway, <laughs> we don't get into that, but you know, ramble off on that one. Right? Like, yeah, I had I just deleted her. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna let her I'm gonna let her live. I ain't gonna go into no rant. But I just I just stopped following her on Instagram. That's all. I don't follow all other hoes because they fucking doing it for the fans. They, I followed all of them, yeah. They just be going, doing extra shit. Just do random shit to get on your nerves. Man, I watch people that, uh... That shit is just interesting to see what the fuck they do. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah, just, you know. You know what I'm saying? It's just, you might catch an ass shot here or there. Some titties. <laughs> oh, yeah. Kim Fields is a motherfucker. <laughs> Kim Fields, uh... Yeah. It feels weird watching rock. If you're watching this, the show rock. <laughs> remember that shit with the car yeah, 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 she it, was yeah. on that bitch I'm like it feels weird watching that shit now now that I follow you on Instagram like god damn <laughs> god damn like shit god damn <laughs> yeah even the little girl from um uh, okay, all off the subject now hey man I, I, ain't, I don't have the Instagram so I don't really be following you know I, I watch some Snapchat Facebook here and there Facebook getting remedial it's fucking bunch of 40 cookie ass niggas on there it's just constantly Saying shit, it's just dumb. I oh, woke up today and my daughter and this, 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 this. Like, yeah. bro, you don't want no man to even say that to your daughter. Why are you putting your daughter business on Facebook? Mm-hmm. Why are you putting your 12 year old on Facebook, bro? I don't even fuck with Facebook. That's you have so 4,000 niggas on your page and you're gonna post your picture of your fucking daughter on there <laughs> as a woman. You know what I'm saying? Like, come on, cuz. Think about that. You feed her to the wolves, nigga, even though that's your daughter. There's niggas that's gonna try her because that's your daughter. Yeah. Nigga, stop doing this stupid shit, man. It's too late because motherfuckers that put their whole fucking timeline of their life on the motherfucking internet. But as they get older and they start getting their own shit together, they already know who the pops is. And if you a whole ass nigga, they gonna come holler at your daughter. Mm-hmm. They gonna come holler at you. I don't know if it's how old this was, but... Uh, this dude, his father got killed. I forgot where it's at, in Miami, huh? <clears throat> whatever the hell. Okay, his 15 year old daughter snuck this 18, 19 year old dude in the house at 2 o'clock in the morning. It was found in the morning, like 8 o'clock at night, at 8 o'clock in the morning, whatever. The pops walked into the one, the daughter's room. The dude pulls a gun out and says, I'm not going to jail. The father grabs the guy, they start touching him with a gun. Two shots go off, one of them hits the dad. And the other one hits the dude in the leg. So the dude starts running and dad dies. So they got to be on a ring camera, knocking on the neighbor's door, asking to use the phone because his phone is dead. And you can hear the goddamn uh, police coming. And they get more nervous and nervous and shit. And they finally called him and all that shit. I'm like, all because of these bitches. This bitch is 15 years old, snuck in an 18 year old. They got caught. He touched him with a gun. The dad is dead because of this shit. Shit, <laughs> and this little nigga's in jail over some cooch that's underage. Stupid like so, like you said, stop advertising y'all daughters on this motherfucking gassing they damn head up on the internet. Y'all think it's innocent, but it's a nigga. Y'all motherfuckers with daughters that keep playing around. Watch Megan is missing. Man. That movie Megan is missing. Watch that shit, nigga. I will never want a daughter in my damn life after watching that damn movie. <laughs> it scares the shit out of you. And the way technology is, as soon as you get a phone, your Gmail is active. So as soon as you post your child on there and this is such and such, such and such, and you at them or tag them, nigga, they become a fucking target for predators. Yeah. Protect your seeds, man. Y'all thinking that shit cute. Everybody, shout out to this editor that are screaming all the way from Compton. Mm. Motherfucking my daughter to turn 19. What? Mm. You just oh. sick, you just sick the wolves out of her. You got a whole list of them niggas on your fucking page, nigga. Mm. You got four thousand friends, only three of them your real homie. Come on now, be real. One night on uh, one night on uh, Soul Plane, when Snoop was like, "Hey, I got <laughs> such and such here at the cockpit, yes. white girl, and all them niggas just ran." Like, yes. oh yeah, you golf sir. Yes, that's exactly what it is. That's some real shit. And then she get all hot headed, right? And she got all these niggas on her. She get pregnant. She get pregnant, and she ain't had no guidance, and it ends up being a McDonald's goddamn commercial. Mm-hmm. What the fuck happened? You see how that plays out? I know it draws a long, but you know what I'm saying? It all comes to that shit. It's all about how they was raised. Where she go, cuz? Mm, that's how it is. This shit's fucked up, eh? Mm-hmm. Oh, I'm this shit, well, I'm glad man. my brother had a bunch of boys. Mm-hmm. You know, my daughter, about my, I'm about to say my daughter. My sister had mm-hmm. a couple girls, but you know, they working it out. 
My cousin down south, I want to say his name, all girls. He go, he go, go through. <laughs> Didn't all of them have girls? Nah, he had a boy. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, well, yeah talking, a couple boys. Talking yeah. about his brother, but his Take brother it, yeah. got all all girls. So you know, say cuz gonna have to be strapped up and some bullshit. You might have to lay a nigga down just to let him know. Mm-hmm. Don't even cross that line. Mm-hmm. <laughs> You're gonna have to. And you got some out of town niggas that are coming down a bit to go back to where they ain't supposed to be. <laughs> Take each body part and go separate ways. <laughs> this motherfucker's head is eating. Ain't motherfucking Jersey. Anyway, uh, oh shit, the fourth coming up. I'm talking about Sir. the fourth real quick. No. I'm just talking about my dad. Not the actual. He didn't hear the hour, man. Damn. No. That's <laughs> <laughs> just fucking around. Like, like, shit. Yeah. They said inflation fucked the firework game up. Yeah, it's ridiculous. It's, it's ridiculous. You can't buy nothing for under $25. Fucking bottle rocket 17 to stick. You just go. <laughs> <laughs> that's a loud. That's a one hell of a. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> It's <laughs> fucking exciting. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Past the Franks, the bar ass dogs. My, my fire. <laughs> Speaking of bar ass, they said that's the cheapest bullshit of meat ever. Yeah, it is. If you, if you open a bitch refrigerator, she got a gang of bar ass shit in there. You might want to escape. Yeah, if you're ready, gonna say, no. <laughs> don't do it, bro. I, I don't even know why the shit in here. You ain't putting no heat to that shit to make it act right. <laughs> yeah, you don't know what it's done. You At all. You just sit there like, man, I'm hungry enough. Just blister up. That shit, yeah. Get some Ostomaya and go eat anything. It's so bad. It's just <laughs> funny. But fireworks, yeah, that shit went up, nigga. I'm, I'm shooting my gun. Fuck it. Shooting all of my gun. My girl want to go see the fireworks. But I'm like, i never been a firework guy. Like, you know what I'm saying? All that boom, bow, pee. I got, I got the VIP pass. I'm like, yeah, nigga. You know, get your VIP uh, parking lot be on the roof. That's what you want to do. Nah. Oh, no, no. You ain't even in the crowd, nigga. You just got the VIP pass to go up on the third floor. Say you know your boy, LJ, and you in there. Yeah, it's just, I don't know. That shit is just fireworks in general. Like, I'd rather be for the, the and ambiance, alcohol, the smoke, the, the, just the party. You know what I'm saying? Barbecue. Yeah, it's a party. You know what I'm saying? That's all that is. But hope everybody have a uh, safe and joyful fourth, because we ain't going to see y'all motherfuckers. Um, that's what, Monday? Yeah, it's Monday. I'm off work and I ain't know it. Woo. I, I found out Thursday that I was off Monday. They got was kicked. Yeah, don't start no shit, no barbecue, ladies. And gentlemen, <laughs> like, let's enjoy this motherfucking time we got before they shut everything down. Again, mm-hmm. you know, COVID coming back around the corner. And also be safe from that shit because it is out. A couple of my niggas ain't found out they had it. So be careful out there with that shit. All right, eating bitches from the back. Uh, Sick bastards. Yeah, you got your nose all in the asshole. Like, how the hell? The numbers just don't match up. <laughs> Y'all niggas is nasty. <laughs> nasty. Just fuck a bitch and pay a bill. And you passing blood to the niggas. Passing blood to the niggas. Bottles. All that. Come and brag about what he did. And he, <laughs> like, <laughs> like pirate. It was. A, it took me a minute. Like when I used to drink, that shit popped into my head a few times. Like, damn man, I'm passing bottles to niggas, missing teeth and shit. One yeah. Back in the time we that far long ago, white chick, right? I can tell she got busted because she said this. It was passing blunt, it was in rotation. Mm-hmm. She said, Why the fuck did you nigga lick the blunt? Nigga lip. She said, Nigger lip. Mm-hmm. Like, nigga yeah. got lips. You know what I'm saying? Big lips. She was like, That, whatever blood is wet like that, you nigger lip it. Bruh, mm-hmm. I lost it. The homie went off on her. He was about to choke her out. But I lost it because I'm like, nigga, lip. That's, that's fucking shit is funny. funny. That's fucking hilarious. That shit was funny. I remember a lot of names we got nigger shit from. It's like them, <clears throat> was a white dude in class one day. He said, hey, I found a nigger brush. And I looked, I'm like, yeah, he is a, that's a nigger brush. You know them brushes that don't have handles. When you yeah. see them handled, them look like a, a wood piece of soap. In the palm of your shit. Yeah. You don't see no, the, by nobody else using that brush. Ain't no Rico Suave. Go here, yeah. Nope. They don't do some wild shit. They comb it. That's a nigga brush. And he said it. It didn't rush what he said, but he made up out that classroom quick. Racial slurs are hilarious to me, man. That really is, though. If I ever get offended by a racial slur, it's directly towards me. But just out there. Like she said, she was, it wasn't even a white dude. It wasn't even a black dude that passed her the blood. That's what made it even funny. Mm. It was a white dude who passed her the blood. She, That's right, oh my God, she nigga like this. <laughs> Like nigger lip. What the fuck is that? She was like, you know, you guys got bigger lips than me. I was losing it, bro. I was like, 
Yeah, I see the speaking there. Somebody about to shove a nigga dick in your motherfucking throat tonight. That's another <laughs> damn thing. Me, uh, this chick, when I guess this abortion shit passed, they gave for their protesting or whatever. They said a woman is a new nigga. White girl had that damn post on a poster. I'm like, what kind of shit is that? The woman is a new nigga. They went all the way there. I'm like, as much nigga dick she probably done had. Nah. Most of y'all white females is racist because a nigga that did y'all dirty. You ain't even give a fuck about what real racism is. And that's sad. Like, mm-hmm. most of y'all white dudes is racist because y'all got bullied. Or somebody that fucked, a nigga that fucked your bitch. So, cut it out. There ain't no real racist since the motherfucking 60s. <laughs> everybody, yeah. just, everybody just petty. Like, oh, we gonna say nigga to this motherfucker we can't beat. And it just piss him off. Mm-hmm. And all this shit, you know, piss me off. Like I say before, as much white vagina as I depreciate the value of in my life, <laughs> you can just call me the nigga a couple times. I don't give a fuck. Why is it lie? Be careful. Niggas is toting their straps too. Out here. Cowboy shit. Cowboy shit. There. So y'all be careful out there with. Yeah. If you, ain't, if you ain't strapped by now, nigga, you a liability. Or you just. Fucking. Don't have one. You're just <laughs> praying that nothing happens. Man, hope in one hand and shit in the other. Which one hope go fill up first? Gotta have gotta, the strap on. Got to. I take the trash out. I got mine on. Strap. When I get when I get dressed, here's my drawers and my strap. <laughs> <laughs> there it is. I walk around my house. I'm like, look at this shit here. It said keys, wallet, phone, bank. I got Ithaca drawers on with a motherfucking uh, <laughs> what? The Ithaca drawers. They them tight ass dun 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 dun. Got Ithaca drawers on with my with my motherfucking holster on my shit. You just yeah. walk around the house. They got drawers and holes for something. They did man. They actually do. It's like it's, they actually do. What? <laughs> <laughs> you really want to be in a gunfight when you draw them? Uh, if you have to, have to have a choice. So you at another nigga's house banging his girl. <laughs> I mean, uh, I ain't even say that. <laughs> If you got a gun holster on, like, nigga, <laughs> I'll be scared. <laughs> like, God damn, I'm gonna shoot my shit off. Hey, every chick I meet, or, you know what I'm saying, I tell them I'm bringing a gun to their house. I don't even tell them. It's, it's, it's happening. I'm so not bringing it to protect you. I'm making sure I make it home. Because I don't know who you deal with. This go a lot to you anyway. I ain't been, I've been selling it for seven years. Bitch, you've been selling yeah. a little bit every goddamn day. You've been using that vinegar, the two cat fools, <laughs> trying to tighten it up. Yeah. Fuck out of here. Snap back. Just, just talking to a woman is cheating on a motherfucker. I don't know. That Emo- shit is annoying. You emotionally cheating on me. I'm like, like bitch. What am I? Like, hey, bro, I smell my shoulder, bro. Me and no girl talked all night. She laid her head on her shoulder and shit. That's like a motherfucker said, if, if a gap by you cologne, she smelt it on another man. Mm-hmm. You think that's true? Yep. There's a lot of females that came with me like, man, what kind of cologne you got on? And I tell them, and they come back like, they don't smell the same as uh, my dude. I'm like, it's called a pheromone mixture, you dumb motherfuckers. That's why I smell like that. You gotta be clean also. Also, <laughs> you can't go with motherfuckers that douse yourself <laughs> in no. this shit. No. It's like my coworkers, like they older, it's like, it smell good, what you got on? I got on this. They go buy it for their husbands. Then they're like, it don't smell the same on them. I'm like, just kind of mix the shit together. Stop trying to smell fuck me. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Stop trying to build a nigga. Right, right. You know what I'm right. saying? Some niggas just might smell the like, brute. Might smell banging on some motherfuckers. You know what I'm saying? So cut it out, women. It's a combination. Cut it out. Combo. Yeah. Thanks for y'all tuning in, Block Integrity. Uh, that's your host, Gizmo. And that's your boy, LJ. You got anything you want to promote? Not right now. Me either. <laughs> I be having all these damn ideas and shit, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to smoke and sit here in my studio. And just bash the ambiance. Oh, yeah, I'm building my shit up, nigga. We're going to be straight. You mm. see the new background a little bit. Yeah, we'll just a little hint, didn't do something nice for y'all. Love it. Yeah. Uh, all right, we'll see y'all next whenever the fuck we want to upload. And let's all say it together. One, two, three. Fuck your kids. <laughs> I ain't even know what the fuck he was about to say, but I know what I was about to say. <laughs> God damn it. And that's gang. That's gang. <laughs>